So the second one is that it uses hidden presuppositions. Oh, oh, this sounds familiar. Well, critics of evidentialism uh, contend that evidentialists work with hidden presuppositions about the nature of reality. For example, in their scientific and historical arguments, evidentialists presuppose that there is a rational structure to the whole of reality. Well, that's a that's a big thing to smuggle in. The entirety <laughs> of reality is smuggled in under this uh, under the guise of of your evidence. Oh, that's that's weird. The heuristic methodological assumptions that knowledge is possible, that the universe is structured, and that the senses can be trusted cannot themselves be empirically sustained. So that might right. sound. Uh, put 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 your 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 note. Uh, here and then wait for wait for next chapter and see see if, uh, if this is truly a negative maybe, maybe it's yeah. not maybe maybe this is something that uh, everyone does right 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 so they kind of have hidden presuppositions that they don't defend right how uh where do you get the fact that the census can be trusted how do you argue for that right you haven't done that you're just assuming that they can be trusted and based on that assumption now here is a fact that you find <laughs> Right. And so, yeah, so that hidden presuppositions. Um, now, evidentialists, our book tells us, um, are generally unmoved, quite frankly, by these concerns. They uh, freely acknowledge that evidentialist arguments require certain assumptions about the reality of our physical world and the ability of the mind to perceive reality and the like. What the evidentialist wants is to uh, not make arguments that are totally free of presuppositions, but rather arguments that presuppose only, and here it is, what must be presupposed to know anything at all. <laughs> and so this challenge to the evidentialist approach then identifies a real limitation, our book suggests here, of the approach, but one which um, evidentialists insist everyone must live with, you know, in order to know anything or reason about anything. Right. So everybody does this so we can too. Leave us alone. Right, kind of exactly. <laughs> well, and, and, and the, you know, if you if you listen to Habermas, uh, the minimal facts approach is kind of this. He's saying, listen, just give me these, I think, uh, was it, is it six or seven uh, base facts? And from here, any uh, normal working person with these minimal facts would almost have to conclude if they're being as objective as they can within the court of law or or being fair that Jesus died, rose again, and uh, uh, was was observed uh, by other people to such a degree that we can be as confident with that as we can that George Washington was the first president of the United States. So so even even there. Um, they're 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 attempting to say okay uh, th th that's all true we have these base assumptions but so do you and so just give me these things and then from there I can I can prove the whole thing and we can quibble about you know uh, how many apostles there were or what have you so so yes that that's uh that, that's something that they're bringing in but also that still that still seems to be kind of a negative here. Hmm. 